Prime Minister, I know that you are feeling very happy on this special day because this is your school. Um, and I also want to take the opportunity, uh, Dr. Wheatley, to invite the Prime Minister to another institution and on Hope Road. Uh, but I'll, I'll do so at another time. I won't put him, put him on call. But permit me to, to acknowledge all of the colleagues here, our most honorable Prime Minister, Member of Parliament, who is a hard working, I see him on social media doing everything, painting, tree planting, blood drive. I don't know where you're getting all those ideas from, but I'm going to move on. But that's good. We have a hard working Member of Parliament who our principal says is integrated in the school, and that's what we want, Prime Minister. We want the leadership of, of the constituencies to see themselves as part of this project. And so, uh, Chairman Deal, your members, uh, Sir Brown, um, and all of the staff and students of this institution who are conquerors, uh, we thank you for facilitating um, us today. Um, I also have to, Prime Minister, tell you how, how proud I am of uh, my CEO at the Forestry Department. Uh, I don't know if we can call him new, because he has hit the ground running. And I always wondered how he has been doing such an amazing job in such a short time. But having now met Stephanie Cameron, um, I realize that he has, um, in the leadership supporting him, as well as with uh, Damat, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Damat Williams, he has with him the leadership uh, that is moving from west to east um, forestry as not just something that's seen as peripheral anymore, but integral to the ecology and economy uh, for this wonderful country that we call our beloved Jamaica. Prime Minister, it is for us not just a discussion about awareness. For us at the Ministry of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment and Climate Change, we consider the well-known phrase that he who plants trees loves others beyond himself. And as Sir Ainsley said, today we are going to see that this partnership between the ministry, the forestry department, and our school will be Prime Minister, a member of Parliament Wheatley, planting seeds of hope and planting an understanding that we have to care for our environment, as well as to be responsible. This week we had the unfortunate experience on Saturday of nine youngsters in my constituency um, being involved in a car accident that led to fatal um, circumstances. I said to some youngsters at JC yesterday, when we carry out our tree planting exercises, it's not just the action of planting the tree. We are teaching you to be environmentally aware, but also be responsible. Responsible for yourself, for your environment, for your family, for your friends. And that is going to be reflected in your decisions. So today, our Prime Minister, our Member of Parliament, our Board Chair, our Principal, our Conservative Forest have decided, we have made a decision to choose St. Catherine for the My Tree Legacy, because we want to impart on every student that is hearing us the understanding of this activity. You become the environmental champions. You become the ones that we want to benefit from the food and shelter and shade and medicine that flows from our trees. And we want you to understand our mission. The Forestry Department, Prime Minister, has the mission to manage and conserve the forest resources of Jamaica. But listen to the other part of it. It is for the benefit of present and future generations. So we understand well that the seed that is planted here, the students that are here now may not benefit from it, but you will benefit knowing that your child who will come here sometime in the future will find shade and find beauty from the tree that you planted. Trees are the lungs of our environment and our planet. And let me give you a few um, 
fax. Prime Minister of the United Nations fax states that the average size tree produces enough oxygen to keep a family of four breathing. We don't need any other information principle to understand the importance of trees. All we need to know is that, Ms. Kerry and White, trees keep us alive. And the symbiotic synergy between our existence and their existence is shown by their absorption of carbon dioxide and letting out what we need to live. So food, shelter, and life. Photosynthesis is something which our students will learn of, but we want them to also understand some other facts. Facts are that by planting 20 million trees, the earth and its people will benefit from 260 million tons of oxygen. That means the Prime Minister's initiative for planting 3 million trees in three years is going to provide us with 39 million tons of oxygen for the people. I want it to settle in your mind that at a time when we are already feeling the impacts of climate change, we are already seeing the need, the urgent action that is required to reduce emissions. Our trees are more important than they have ever been in the existence of this planet. We here in Jamaica have 337,000 hectares of forest cover. And we don't just intend to plant trees, but we intend to preserve and to maintain trees. So deforestation is a real issue for us. We understand, Prime Minister, we understand, um, CEO, that we will have to have some amount of removal for there to be development in areas. But Prime Minister, I must tell you, there is one type of deforestation that I am particularly concerned about. And we head to St. Anne, Prime Minister, to address this issue frontally. There are some Jamaicans who are not informal settlers or squatters, as we say it, because of their circumstances. Not because they are poor and have nowhere to go. But there are some, Prime Minister, that are squatter landlords and who have the option, they have the money, but they choose to manipulate, to circumvent the law, and to exploit poor people by going in, tearing down our forests, and selling off land that oftentimes is government land. Prime Minister, you have given us the mandate, and I want you to know that we are confronting this directly by ensuring that we have the necessary enforcement to call out those squatter landlords and to let them know that there will be no more squatter landlords allowed in Jamaica. We understand that there are some who need help and we are going to create the system and advance the system to support those who need to be relocated and resettled. But those are not the persons we're talking about today. Chairman, it is those persons who have options but choose to be criminals. And the impact it has on our environment, Dr. Wheatley, is something that will affect not just present, but let me hear you say it, future generations. So I want to close by just indicating that the Ministry of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment, and Climate Change will be submitting for the Prime Minister's consideration and that of Cabinet an initiative which I mentioned in the sectoral presentation. We defined it as Renewing Jamaica. And the Renew Jamaica initiative will see us not just planting trees, but going across this country to connect for a cause, corporate Jamaica, with all of the schools and members of our community, churches and otherwise. And we intend to plant trees, to connect partners, and more importantly, as we are at a school, integrate into the curriculum of schools environmental sustainability and management of our environment as an integral subject area. We want to have volunteers from the Lions Club, from the Interact Club, from the Rotary Club, from the Key Club, all working together to spread the message across Jamaica 
that we have to protect our environment and here's how we can do it. Lastly, it is our intention through the Renew Jamaica Initiative to go across the country and to put in our schools at least one project that reflects climate resilience. This is essential. This is essential for us as we achieve or seek to achieve our goal of having a sustainable and resilient Jamaica. I want to thank you, Prime Minister, because I said to my wife, boy, the Prime Minister has a burden and a blessing because you are the only Prime Minister since 1962 or before that has had to lead and steer us through a pandemic. Prime Minister, pandemic is something we only thought would be in the movies. And so to know that you are the one that has to wake up with the weight on your shoulders. Of course, you have selected several uh, very intelligent persons to be around you. But you have that weight. I want you to know that we are here to support you. And at our ministry, we are doing everything we can to advance the initiative that you started. It's your vision that we have captured in the Renew Jamaica initiative. And we look forward to the support, Prime Minister. I thank you. I thank you, Principal and Chairman. I thank you, Member of Parliament. Um, and I thank all of my staff at the Forestry Department. You are doing an awesome job. And Jamaica knows that you're doing an awesome job. And we thank you for all that you're doing. One love.